Welcome to the Estuary Works Monitoring Survey Application Video Tutorial Series. This is a six tutorial series and it explains how to use the Estuary Works Monitoring web and field apps. This next tutorial is tutorial three and it shows you how to record a baseline survey of one of the work sites in the estuary. So we'll be covering five things here, selecting the field maps version, as in the online or the offline version, creating a baseline survey reach, how to do that in field maps, entering field data, submitting the survey, and options after submitting the survey will be covered as well. So as per the last couple of videos, we're gonna open Esri field maps and sign in using the Esri online account ID. Okay, so once you're in field maps, you'll see there's the EstuaryWorks Monitoring Field app, which is the one you use when you do have a good connection, so your connection, and there's the offline version, which we explained in video two. One final point is to make sure you use the field apps map and not the web app version. The web app version is not to be used through the field maps app. Instead, if you go to tutorial six, uh, you'll learn how to access the web app through the online portal. Okay, so you're in now, you're around the site where you're going to monitor. You can start collecting a survey segment by pushing the little blue uh, cross in the bottom right-hand corner. And then the way to start putting the segment in is to use the add point button. Where the point will be added is the center of that circle there. So we move that to where we want to start the segment and we add a point. We can then move that along further and keep adding points till we've covered the section that has the works that we're monitoring in them. So once you've completed the section, you can start to put in some details, like what's the LGA area, what's the estuary name, for instance, is another thing. And you'll see there's quite a lot of fields you can fill out. The time and the date, of course, are quite important. It can be linked to the tide. Um, and also that will be referenced when you do a report for the data of recording. You can put in the person who surveyed, how it was surveyed, and what the title situation is uh, at the site at the time of survey too. So the optional information includes information related to the works themselves, and uh, that is optional, of course. Then there's about 10 objectives that you can fill out. You don't need to fill them all out. You just fill out the ones that are related to this site. You can select the number of work sites that there, what work types there are there, um, and then you select the work types that are present on the site. That will pre-populate the rest of the survey with the questions relating to those works types. Then take your time to understand the questions, fill out the answers as best you can, and uh, there are different questions and answer options for the different styles of work. So you then generally will come across uh, in estuary systems. So once you've completed filling out as much detail as you think you need to, you just simply submit that and that automatically will upload to the cloud. Okay, so once that's submitted, you'll see the color changes. Also get this pop-up box, which gives you all the data collected uh, from that survey. And also you get these new options. You can uh, put a photo point in, you can put a near bank channel depth survey in, or you can do later on, probably in a year's time or something like that, you could repeat that estuary remediation survey there. Okay, if we deselect that, if there are these features on the screen, you can just select them to get them up gives you the information you need, but you also have uh, the option to delete that segment if you didn't want it to complete, or you can edit that segment again by pushing the little pencil in the bottom left. So that brings up all the data that you've previously entered, and you've got the option to edit that there. All right, let's cancel out of that. So you've completed tutorial three now. So the next tutorial is how to take the monitoring photos and record channel depth surveys and, and attribute them to that segment. All right, thank you.